It was a cultural phenomenon. I don't think America, or even the world, was ready to see people dressing like these girls. They were in the Doc Martens and the baggy clothes. They kind of turned them into like these hip hop slash R&B chicks. Guys love them. They either love Chili, they love T-Boz, or they love Left Eye. It's like collectively we're going to market you as TLC, but we're going to make sure that everybody knows who you are individually. Chili always, you know, dressed cute and could dance and was, you know, had her sexiness about her. So they took that and ran with that. They used, you know, that sexy moniker and ran with that for Chili. And then for t -Boz, you know, she had kind of like the low voice. Um, she was rocking baseball hats, had an amazing sense of style. And then left eye, love her to death all over the place, never know what Lisa was gonna say, always making you laugh, um, so that's where the crazy came in. Nobody had seen anything like that, so people wanted more, it was almost like a TLC drug, like I gotta have more and more because these girls are infectious. It was electrifying, it was um, groundbreaking, it was special. TLC was doing something a little bit different and they were bringing hip hop and R&B, you know, together to the forefront and you really didn't see a female group do that prior to TLC coming out. And I think that's what made them so special. Even, you know, with I Ain't Too Proud to Beg, if you remember, you know, what left I had the condom over her eye. And so how brilliant was it that these young ladies didn't even realize that they were sending these positive social messages, you know, to the urban youth and to the community. When we really talk about, get straight down to it, is sex. Old Talking style. about a serious situation, but right. uh, I guess bring it to the people's eye in a different way. You can get what I'm saying so to you, right? So you relate to it better, you know, <laughs> sometimes things that are too serious scare us. People they don't want right. to talk about, they don't want to deal with reality stuff. And not only that, I'm sure everybody's tired of so, people right. preaching to them, you know? So we're just talking about something in a fun way. If yeah. you're going to have sex, we're saying use protection, but then again, since you're doing it, let's talk about it.